Hi folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl with another quick how-to video for Outlook and Office 365. Today we're going to tackle the problem of Gmail Outlook 2013 constantly synchronizing. Now I am not experiencing this problem, but if you are out there googling it, you know my video is going to show you how to fix that. If you follow my mouse down to the bottom of my screen, normally right here in this area, you're going to see inbox synchronizing constantly and it doesn't stop and you're probably like I want this to end because it's not working <laughs> and you're probably experiencing other email issues as well so what happens here is your Gmail is set up through IMAP through Outlook 2013 and there's a couple glitches and we're gonna solve those today and I'm gonna show you how to do it first thing I want you to do is go to your inbox over here and you're gonna see some blue uh, numbers that show you the unread amount down here in the lower left is items. If you have over 20,000 items in your inbox, that's a good indication that you need to clean up your email. Up here, your unread, you know, is, it just shows you how many unread you have. Down here, though, is the important numbers. 20,000 or more, that's when Gmail's threshold gets about capped with synchronizing. And that's when people start calling me, they have problems. So the first thing I recommend you do is clean out your inbox emails. You can go ahead and delete them. Or move them to a new folder off of Gmail server. Secondly is click on inbox right here, go to folder in Outlook 2013, then go down to IMAP folders. Now over here I want you to hit query and in here it shows you all the folders that Gmail is synchronizing. If you do not need all those emails and those folders to synchronize, let's say Outlook is your only you know way to check email you can go ahead and check on a folder and hit unsubscribe that now will take this folder and any other folders you unsubscribe from off of the synchronization list in Outlook and that's going to make that synchronization hopefully go away for you as you can tell Gmail puts in lots of their own folders <laughs> so it's up to you to keep what you want there but hit apply hit OK then I generally go to File, Close Outlook, then I tap the Outlook button again, and I get a brand new connection to the server, which hopefully now, you give it a couple minutes to figure itself out, but generally it just stops the synchronizing issue and just works as it should. Okay, excuse me. So back to your inbox here, and once you move some mail out and stop the synchronization, you should be in good shape. If you still have problems, feel free to call me at 612-865-4475 or email me lisa at callthatgirl.biz. Thank you very much.